Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to create a YouTube thumbnail with Canva. So YouTube thumbnails are something that have a very specific dimension and that is the 1920 by 1080 pixel Canva. So basically this one is the presentation canvas, this one, so 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to open this one. And because I have a YouTube channel, I can show you maybe some of the thumbnails that I'm using. So let me head over to YouTube. So let's head over to my channel. Okay, and you can see some of my thumbnails and you can see there's a high consistency in the style of these thumbnails. I have different playlists and I try to have a different style in different playlists. So it looks kind of consistent and you can see that it creates an harmonious YouTube channel as well. By the way, this is my Design with Canva channel. So if you want to learn more about Canva and benefit from all these free tutorials, there's a bunch of them already on the channel. I highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel. So it's Design with Canva. Or if you can find it, what you can do is to type Canva Rani in the search here and you will find one of my videos. These are all my videos. So just click on one like this is the YouTube channel. If you click here, you can subscribe to this. I think you won't be disappointed. Every week or so I upload a video and I have created some nice playlist for you guys. So this is me uh, promoting my channel, but let's go back to Canva and see how we can create these nice and consistent thumbnails. So the way to do it, First, you will have to choose a visual identity for your YouTube channel. So if you're starting, if you have zero thumbnails or this, this is your first thumbnail, take a minute and think, okay, what colors, like what kind of feeling I want to evoke with my thumbnails. And there are a couple of rules for creating good thumbnails. So let me write it down here. So basically YouTube thumbnails need to accomplish a couple of things, right? they need to attract the viewer or eventually the browser, like the person who is browsing around YouTube or uh, just uh, typed in like a couple of keywords, searching for maybe Canva tutorials. That's the keywords, Canva tutorials. And then that person is going to scroll down the result page until something catches the attention of that person. And that's something is most definitely going to be the thumbnail. So your thumbnail's primary goal is to catch that person's attention, to stop the eye, to stop the scroll down motion, basically catching their attention and stopping their eyes. So you want your thumbnail to be as good and attention grabbing as possible. So for this, you are going to use, let me write these keywords. So attention grabbing, uh, you are going to be uh, choosing some lively colors because that's what will pop in your channel and some high contrast. All these things, they catch the eye, they catch the attention. And usually people use faces because faces are renowned to be working very well on YouTube thumbnails. So if you can add all these elements into your mix, I think you are going to create a winner thumbnail. So let's go ahead and see if we can do something that does all this. Now that we have the format, 1920 by 1080 let's just go ahead and create them so you don't have to start from scratch so you could search here for example if you type in youtube mm, sorry we couldn't find any templates for youtube so what we can do maybe is to go to canva.com slash templates so that's another hidden section I call it hidden, but I don't know if it's really hidden, but it's not obvious to find it. Before it used to be like from the Canva dashboard, you could access the template library. Now they have included that into the Canva design panel, but it doesn't seem to find anything for my search for YouTube here. So let's search in the library itself. Let's just type in YouTube uh, thumbnail to see what's there. Yeah, we have some. So that's a pretty good news. You can start with one of these. That's what I did, I think, for a couple of my YouTube thumbnails. So you can scroll them and see, like you can search them and see if there is something that you like. There's actually, actually a couple of pages. So very good place to start, guys. Canva.com slash templates. That's a very nice template library. You will find a bunch of different things. 
So what we are looking for is a template that we will be using for our thumbnail. So we need something that could hold like a bold text, like a keyword or something, or a couple of words. Let me go back to my channel, like something like this, you know, like you have a few keyword or key sentence that will indicate what's in that video uh, directly from your thumbnail. So we need that bold text and we need the contrast. And if possible, we need to add your face. So this one could be an interesting one, but the colors are not that great. But let's try this. I mean, I want to show you something here. So if you want to use this template, just use this template. Okay, so that's what we have for now. Let's say you have a video which is the 10 frequently asked questions about Canva. So that's all I'm going to type here. I'm just going to use this one to say about and then use the Canva logo. Canva. Okay, give me a Canva logo. Of course, I have to search for this on the Elements tab. Let's use the Canva logo like this because this is also grabbing people's attention. You know what? I don't need the about. Let's do something like this. Okay, 10 FAQ. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to reduce the size of this to maybe 42. And let's see how this looks, apostrophe S, something like this. Okay, that looks better. I'm going to put this like this. All right, 10 FAQs about Canva. Of course, we want to get rid of this lady right here. She is cute, but she's not us. So getting rid of that. All right, I need to insert a photo here, a photo of myself or some kind of photo with a high contrast background, right? So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick here, guys. I'm going to show you a website that will help you remove any background of a photo of you, of a portrait of you. And that website is called remove.bg. Something I, I discovered recently. So you can upload a photo of you and then it will help you remove the background, which is pretty useful. So let's test that. Okay, here I have a bunch of photos with a white background. Let's say this one. Okay, I have a photo and there's a background. You can see it, the white background here. I want to get rid of that so I can put that photo on top of another background. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and import that into remove BG. Okay, so select a photo, opening this. So it's going to upload the photo then it should be getting rid of its background. If the magic works, look at this, boom. And I can download this in different resolutions. So let's use a high resolution. But let's download the regular. I mean, I just need this for the sake of showing you guys. So I'm going to save it here. So that's runny with no background. Back to our thumbnail right here. Let me add my photo. I'm going to drop this into my Canva images. And I'm not going to put it inside this box just yet. And you will see why. I'm going to put this basically here. I'm going to make this bigger. Let's do like this. And then I'm going to bring back this overlay right here because with this I'm going to create a nice catchy color that will come on top or behind my photo. So in order to do this I'm going to drop gradient inside this placeholder. Let me show you how this works. So for example this purple. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should bring this forward like this. Okay, and now I can play with the transparency of this to bring back my, well, I can push it back actually. So I push it back there and I have my photo of me here and I can maybe desaturate this photo. So I'm going to be black and white. This is pretty cool. I can maybe make this bigger even. Yes, this is something I wanted to show you. If I move my photo, it will 
automatically be absorbed in my frame right here that I positioned. The way to avoid this is to use the command key and hold it. Or on a PC, it's going to be a control key. So you see here, I'm not holding that key. Here, I'm holding the key. So hold the key and release your click and then release the key. And then you have the 10 FAQs about Canva. All right, so this is pretty cool. The last thing I could do for this YouTube thumbnail to be very interesting, 10 FAQs about Canva. Okay, I could add something on this post-it right here. So for that, I'm going to go back to my Canva graphics, see if there is something that I can use. Maybe the Canva love hashtag. That's probably my best bet. So I'm going to make this smaller. Yes, something like that. So that's more decent. All right, so that's how you create YouTube thumbnails, guys, with Canva. The possibilities are basically endless and that really comes to your creativity. Just remember the keywords. It needs to be attention grabbing, lively colors, high contrast. You need to see faces in order for that to work. And usually some kind of big, bold text that people can read from very far. So maybe this text is not the best one, but you got the idea of the whole concept, a face, a funny visual, a lively color, and uh, yeah, respect the dimensions of Canva thumbnails and you should be fine. So I hope this video was useful, that you learned something about YouTube thumbnails. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you will not be disappointed. You will learn a bunch of things with me about Canva. And uh, let's move on to the next lecture.